Welcome back, everybody. We managed to get to the door without taking a hit. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, oh, I gotta like touch them. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I see. I thought it would like drain them from me. Yeah, actually, so did I. <laughs> Huzzah! We did it! <laughs> oh yeah, and we should also go to that guy now that we have over 700 essence. Oh, right. This place is definitely designed to be like, well, you got a lot of hearts to get in here, so now you're gonna be okay, right? <laughs> it's not like there's spikes everywhere. It's just spikes. <laughs> spikes can't chase you. Spike was the best character in the land, fuck, in the land before time. <laughs> I honestly don't remember enough about those movies to have an opinion <laughs> on that. I only remember the first one. Like, to the point I don't even remember which one of them Spike was. He was the, um... Uh... I can't remember if he was a Stegosaurus or not. I don't, I don't even remember, remember there being a Stegosaurus. <laughs> well, they were all, like, babies, so he didn't have, like, his fin things. Hmm... I can't remember if that's what he was or not. In, actually, thinking about, I think that might be the only like main character that I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god! Oh Jesus! Eh. I hope I'm going the right way and I'm not going backwards now. <laughs> Oh, is this it? I think that's it. The lifeblood core. And then I died. <laughs> <laughs> what a party. <laughs> Alrighty, I want to read what it does. I mean, I know what it does, but I want to see... <laughs> When resting, the bearer will gain a coating of lifeblood that lifeblood that protects it from large amounts of damage. All right, let's get out of here. Mm. Yeah. Ah, burp. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. Okay, apparently Spike was a Stegosaurus. Hmm. I remembered! Yay! <laughs> Voiced by Rob Paulson. <laughs> but he didn't say anything, he just like grunted all the time. Well, it, it does say voiced by Rob Paulson in uh, 2 to 5 and then 7 to 14. <laughs> and, Je and Jeff Bennett in 6. What the hell? Who's Jeff Bennett? Um, you remember, like, basically every adult that they interacted with in The Weekenders? Okay, yeah. Like, he, he was, a uh, Jan the Man Testaverde. He's probably the most prominent one. Yeah, I remember him. <laughs> he was the one that always talked, like, uh... Um... Fuck, I'm drawing a blank now. He, he had a weird, uh... Like, hey, yowza! Yeah. Yeah, right, okay. Let's see here. I want to see what you do. Oh, yeah, it just gives us four. Okay. But we can use it with this one to give us a million. <laughs> and uh, we still have three notches left over. 
What happens if we equip this one now? Oh, we can't because we need four for Oh, that. yeah. But if we get that last notch that we can buy, we can have those equipped. <laughs> so what about... Can we equip... Oh, dude, we can have that many hearts and our dream shield. Oh, my God. For trying to fight that other guy. Yeah. We might try that. Why not? Well, wait. Hmm. Let's go to the nest first. Oh, wait. Train's over here. Wait. I'm all confused now. Okay. Let's see, unequip you. We don't need you right now. Equip you. Uh, the compass. What's the remaining one that I usually equip? Um. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try to get into the nest. Um. Or the hive, I mean. I keep calling it a nest because now we've been to the stag nest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing, assuming that is, I know it links to that spot there that's in the center of the screen, but I don't know if that's like a destructible wall from this side, or if that's like more scaffolding walls. I, I can't tell you you're on the right track there. Oh, there's also that spot I haven't been in yet right there. Oh, yeah. And there's those two spots, too. But I'm guessing those just go to the city. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. I'm gonna go to that train, then. Wee. I'm zooming. I'm moving and grooving and zooming and booping. Yes. Those first two lyrics are the only ones I remember. <laughs> When do you not push the glowing button? Answer me that, video games. Come on. Who do you think we are? You always push the glowing button. Okay. <laughs> Not quite what I wanted to happen, but it works. <laughs> okay, so I think it's right here. Yeah, I'm guessing there's like a scaffolding wall there or something. <laughs> Because I'm not seeing. <laughs> oh, I love that that's an attack now. <laughs> so yeah, you are in the right area for the entrance. The right area on the map or the right, like... Like the right, um... The right area or the right, like, province? Kingdom's Edge. Um, they, I think, like, the right, a, like, area. Because it does mention, like, these little bee guys. Okay. I'm wondering if I've got to, like... 
Oh, wrong button. Hmm. The, and I'll tell you, you do have to break a wall, but not with the attack that you're thinking. Okay. So I just gotta hit it, maybe? See if I can find cracks somewhere. <laughs> cracks. <laughs> like an ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to sound like Beavis and Butthead, that sounded more like Kiff. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Uh, I'll never forget that <laughs> that day you did like a, <laughs> you did a really good gif impression once. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> okay, I don't see any obvious. Oh wait, no, I don't see any. Uh, where do you go? Any obvious cracks on that wall? Again, this is not a very well written um, memory. <laughs> <laughs> it just says behind the hivelings, which in a 2D game is nothing. <laughs> behind the hivelings. It seems like it should be. Oh wait, what about? It should be in this room. Unless I it's just... in, in like one of the rooms below this. Hmm. Cause it like it did just say to go east. It didn't mention going like up into anything. Oh, so you think it might be in the same section as that train on the right side? Yeah. Yeah, like it specifically mentions taking the train and then going east. So I'm wondering if it's maybe like in that corner right before you get up into here. Oh, that... Maybe. I think it probably is, like, in the corner there. So that seems like the closest thing to behind the hivelings that's in this area. Hmm. From what I remember, there's two spots that link over here somehow. I don't see anywhere. Mm. Yeah, I guess I could look up a map. <laughs> I'm wondering if they're. Well, if it said go east. Behind the hive wings. Yeah, it is, like, exactly in that corner there. there or is? wait, Or, no, there is... Okay, it's showing... Area... Okay, it's showing one, like, in the corner, and then one in that sort of, like, shaft. In the where I am right now? <sighs> yeah, like, about halfway up. Pretty much right across from that, like, middle sort of notch in the room. And I have to attack it? Yeah, oh, wait. But, not, but not with any of the ones that you've been using. There you go. That didn't work, but maybe it's here? No. no maybe you do have to get it get into it from the bottom. 
Yeah, I didn't think it wasn't it wasn't here. It was in the one on the very bottom. Um, I think yeah, it's like the room below this. So I gotta use this. Nope. Mm -mm. Let me try. Get some this soul back. You try right here. <laughs> I love the way it like scooped down. <laughs> hmm. Is there another spot where it links to Kingdom's Edge? There's one. No, that only leads into like one small area of it. No, like the really the only ways to get it into the area proper are just the two that we can't seem to find. Hmm. Um. Try going. Try going back into that like lower room there. Oh, wait. Like, I'm thinking it might be, like, sort of... Yeah, I bet yeah. you it's there. Oh, I... Like, right by the spikes. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were thinking the map way too literally. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're in the hive. <laughs> The Hive? What is this? Team Titans? That's right, there was a spot called the Hive in there, wasn't there? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if it was like a... Like a location or just an organization. Of similarly teenaged villains. <laughs> that show was really good. Yeah, and I do remember it being pretty good. I don't remember how it ended, but I remember being disappointed with what <laughs> Slade turned out to be. <laughs> did he... Did, like, his identity have some significance? I thought he was just, like, a, a weird dude. Well, I, I think... I, I, I obsessed with a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what he turned out to be, but I remember being like disappointed by it or something. I, I might be misremembering. I do I remember there's an episode where like Slade was Robin, but I can't remember if that was like Robin having nightmares or something. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I do there was definitely an episode where like he kept having dreams about Slade, I think. <laughs> It's always good when the man obsessed with the teenager makes that teenager have dreams about him. I mean, apparently he was, like, actually a sex offender in the comics. Oh. Yeah. I remember they had, like, a little, like, DC cinematic universe going on. Because <laughs> I, I remember um, there was an episode where, like, Batman was in it. Mm hmm and it was the same Batman from, like, Batman Beyond or something. Huh. And, uh, there was also an episode of, I think it was called Static Shock. Yeah, where... I, do, I do remember that one where Batman <laughs> showed up. <laughs> I, I, I remember really liking Static Shock. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever watch the the one Batman show just called The Batman. I don't remember. It was really good. Give me bench. <laughs> the, the Joker basically just looked like this 
kind of homeless guy with dreads. <laughs> Actually, that, that show was the first place I heard of Bane. Bane was in it? Yeah. Batman. The Joker has dreadlocks, Batman. <laughs> and I talk like this. <laughs> yes, before the movie where I talk <laughs> like this. Actually, I think they gave him, like, sort of a Spanish accent. <laughs> he was like... Yeah, I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time since I saw that show. But yeah, the, the Joker had, like... Yeah, he's got, like, a vest, and torn cuffs, and bare feet, and crooked teeth and shit. <laughs> it's voiced by, uh, Kevin Michael Richardson. It was great. Oh, it wasn't, uh, Mark Hamill? No. No, it was, um... Y you know, like, in American Dad or Family Guy or The Simpsons, when they need, like, a really deep voice for a black character? I'm sure if I heard it, I would recognize it. <laughs> anyway, that's Kevin Michael Richardson. Using a, a different voice, admittedly, than he did for the Joker. <laughs> but not as different as you'd expect. <laughs> There was one of those trees down there, but I want to kill all the enemies before I have to go hopping around. <laughs> yeah! Gotta start using my brain and using those attacks. <laughs> I play Hollow Knight too much like it's the Messenger or Shinobi, where it's always you gotta hit him. Mm. But at this point, I don't see that changing. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta collect gumdrops. What kind of religion do you think bugs would have? <laughs> um... I don't know. Like, usually... No, I, I have thought about, like, what do bugs think of us? <laughs> yeah. I've always uh, pictured it as more like they think of us as the Titans from Attack on Titan. That, that's what I'm thinking. Like, basically... <laughs> like, imagine if blue whales were just walking around <laughs> on land. Yeah, that'd be... <laughs> that'd be pretty freaky. <laughs> <laughs> and they were... And a lot of them were just very angry at you for even being in their space. <laughs> but, like, look at the size of their space. <laughs> oh, like, I never really thought if, of it that way. Imagine if, like, you just... You walked into Leftbridge, and all these blue whales just start screaming at you. <laughs> 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 this oh. is our house! <laughs> this unbelievably huge area is all ours! <laughs> so get the fuck out! <laughs> you know, the way you always scream at bugs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a mosquito gets in the screen door. Hey! This is not your space! <laughs> you need to leave right now or I'm calling the cops! <laughs> if there's any police officers in the audience, I want to know, have you ever been got- have you ever gotten a call about, a, like, a mosquito? And what did you do? <laughs> yeah. 
Did you call the SWAT team? <laughs> This guy's tough. There we go. He does a lot of damage when he hits me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a way up there. Alrighty, just wanted to know. You think this is where the oh? <laughs> oh no! You gonna say you think this is where the king and the queen have tea? <laughs> it doesn't look like a good spot for it. Yeah. Wait a minute. If I'm the king, but this this is a different hive. So, am I like declaring war on a on a neighboring nation right now? <laughs> I mean, it, it really depends on. The actual king's stance, I guess. You know, whether he's cool with you just sort of walking around murdering his subjects. <laughs> Some of them might be. Like Trump, for example. I mean, I, I was gonna turn this into, like, some kind of thing about, like, actual feudalist kings, but okay. <laughs> I mean, that, that does track. <laughs> what is a president if not a king that you've elected? I mean, <laughs> ideally not that, but... <laughs> no, yeah. nobody, nobody show this episode to Donald Trump. <laughs> It'll go straight to his tiny head and his shrunken hands. I know he watches a lot of Let's Plays, <laughs> but you have to hide this from him. <laughs> Honestly, he seems like the kind of president that would be like, I'm not going to work today, I've got to watch fucking Markiplier. <laughs> I mean, probably not Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it'd have to be someone who could pull him away from Fox News. <laughs> That's true. Maybe PewDiePie. <laughs> I like the way this man screams. <laughs> oh, who does he sound like when you do that? <laughs> I don't know, but it wasn't Trump. <laughs> but it was just close enough that everybody'd know who I was doing. Sure. <laughs> Those like uh, caricatures you see in uh, like comics. Where they have like really exaggerated features of whatever they're parodying. Yeah, but sort of if it was like, is that supposed to be Trump or Kermit? <laughs> oh, that wasn't Kermit. Kermit's no, up that, here. No, that wasn't Kermit. I'm just saying, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Man, with a name like the Hive, I didn't expect it to actually be a hive. Full of bees. <laughs> Some game had, like, a nightclub named the Hive, and I can't remember what it was. It might have been Deus Ex. Mm. Is that where I came from? I think so. Yeah. I never did play the sequel to Deus Ex. I, I still haven't finished the first one. It's shorter than you'd think it is. Mm. I, more and more, I'd actually really appreciate that. Yes, me too. Whoa. <laughs> I like being able to finish games, but I tend to lose interest very easily, it seems. Mm. Like, I seem to... Like, 10 hours seems to be my... Uh, my sweet spot. Um, Twenty hours is okay if it's if I find it like really engrossing. Yeah. But if it's just like something like Hollow Knight, 
you can walk away from it and then pick it back up like months later. <laughs> but there's so many games that are like, they're so narrative focused that if you walk away for too long, you you, you don't remember fuck all of what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I really appreciated because like I just played Abzu a little while ago. I really appreciated that like I just sat down and played through it all in one night. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even like a crazy like marathon session. It's like three hours. Yeah. Because we played through, I think it was the same thing with Journey. We played through it in one sitting. Yeah. We were so mesmerized by it. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what happens with those guys. Mm -hmm. Is Abzu actually the same dev team? It, it's not exactly the same. Basically, the uh, art director of Journey left to create his own studio. And I think it's got like some of the same staff and the same composer. Hmm. But yeah, like, they are very much like in the same kind of spirit. Wait. Yeah, I've been in there. <clears throat> I was really surprised when we did our games of the decade, and <laughs> yours was yours was Journey, wasn't it? Yeah. It just never occurred to me that you enjoyed it that much. <laughs> Especially when you only, to my knowledge, only played it that one time with me. Yeah. Like, I mean, except for stuff like Smash, where, like, the story mode isn't the focus. The ones that I did finish on that list, like, I have only played through them the one time, basically. <laughs> I wonder how this next console generation is going to do, like, at launch. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be many games on either platform at launch right now. Mm. Although I was, like, I was reading a retrospective of the PlayStation 2's launch day. There really was not much. No, there wasn't on, like, the N64 either. I think it just had pilot wings. Mm. It might have had Mario 64 at launch. But it, I think it was just that and pilot wings. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, I mean, same same thing with like the 3DS. Right down to I think pilot wings was one of the launch titles. <laughs> it, I don't know if it was pilot wings. I think Steel Diver was. Okay. But yeah, like you look through like the PlayStation 2 launch titles. <clears throat> and it was like, okay, there's like a few PlayStation ports. Apparently, um, Ridge Racer was pretty good. There was, like, it says something, like, the article I was reading listed a pool game. Like, just a very straightforward pool sim as, like, hmm. in the upper echelon of PlayStation 2 launch titles. <laughs> I got to a room that I suspect was a boss fight, so I wanted to go find a bench. Oh, okay. But I wanted to also see... Yeah, there's a bench in there. <laughs> okay, let's go back then. Because it'll also give us a map, too. Yeah. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Down I go. <laughs> the uh, PlayStation, the 3DS was region locked, wasn't it? I think so. Okay. It's like I just remembered that like I was on a school trip in England when the 3DS launched, and a bunch of us were like, "Oh yeah, the 3DS is out. Should we like buy one? <laughs> Should we each buy one?" And eventually, we decided not to. <laughs> Thank God. 
All right. Well, I guess next time I'll go back to that room on the right and see if there's a boss. It just looked like a boss room to me. Mm. And uh, if there isn't, I think I think we've gone everywhere now. I think so, yeah. All righty. Well, next time we'll go fight that boss if there is one. And then I guess we'll uh, head to the Black Egg Temple. I'm, I'm guessing that's where we go just because it's got that big icon on it. I think so. Well, like it showed all the like masks sort of breaking off of the seal or whatever. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah.